today's devotional. We are going through the book of Romans and today I want us to tackle chapter 13 and I will just share one reflection. I realized last time I used a lot of time and I, I, I really apologize for that. In this chapter, Paul talks about several things, but I just want to narrow down on authority. And between verses 1 to 7, uh, Paul really emphasizes on authority. And as we began chapter 12, we see that uh, Paul now begins to give us the practical bit of our Christian uh, experience, how, how now we are to, to live out every day the faith that he had been talking about in chapters 1 to 11. And in this chapter, Paul now writes to the Romans and he tells them about um, how they are to relate with the governing authority. In other words, how they are to relate with the government of the people that are in power. And Paul begins by saying that let every soul be subject to the governing authority, for no authority is in place that has not been appointed by God. So Paul there tells the believers that even though you are subject to a greater authority and power, which is, you know, the kingdom of God and his, and his rule, and you are subjects in his kingdom, Paul reminds the believers that they are still on earth. They don't have a separate country called Christendom or uh, I don't know how we'd call it, but he reminds them that they are still on earth and that they need to be subject to the governing authorities. And remember that time, the Jews were under the Roman power, you know, the Roman laws. And so Paul tells them that they need to relate uh, in, a, in, a, in a way of honor to authority and especially the government of the day, the government, the leadership, the authority that be. And he gives them a couple of reasons and he says, it is God who has appointed that authority. It may not necessarily mean that these people are in power or are in authority because they are the best or because they are they are pleasing to God. But God, you know, uh, has allowed them, you know, has permitted them to be in power, has permitted them, you know, to lead the people of the land. And so he tells these guys, it is important that every soul be subject to the governing authority because number one, it is God who ordains authority. You know, God is not a God of disorder or confusion. God is a God of order. And we know anytime man is left to himself, we know the chaos that ensue. And so Paul here tells these guys that God is the one that ordains authority. You know, authority comes from him. He is the author of authority. And number two, he tells them to be subject to authority so that they don't get punished. And it, it, is, it is very interesting because he says that for the people that are in authority are God's ministers. And you know, anytime we hear the word God's minister, we think the people that preach the gospel, you know, the people that are in leadership in church, these are God's ministers. But it is interesting that Paul calls governing authorities God's ministers. That means that, you know, they are instruments in God's hand, you know, to do what, what God um, you know, what God would want them to do, although sometimes they don't do that, but they are tools, they are instruments uh, in God's hands. And so he says that we should not resist authority. Anytime we resist, and this means here, anytime we are disobedient, especially to uh, our civic laws, you know, we have civic laws. Any nation uh, in the world has civic laws and, and the citizens are supposed to obey the civic laws. Uh, and so Paul says that we should not resist, uh, you know, the, the, the authority and the laws that come with this authority. Because if anyone does that, then they will be punished. And so that is another reason why we should always, you know, be subject to authority. And he says that they don't bear the sword in vain. In other words, they don't bear their authority in vain because God uses them to punish evil. And sometimes uh, others, other versions say that he, he uses them to punish uh, uh, what is wicked. And so, so that people are, are, are brought into wrath or damnation. And so we are to obey authority, number one, because it is instituted by God. Number two, because they are God, God's ministers. Number three, because when we resist them, we'll be punished. 
will be punished uh, by them because they don't bear the sword in vain. And lastly, in verse 7, he says, give honor to whom honor is due. You know, in terms in relation to authority and especially governing authority, give customs to whom customs is due. Give taxes to whom taxes is due and give uh, fear to whom fear is due. So do your part, pay your taxes. If you're a landowner and especially those of us who are in Kenya, please pay your land rates um, because that is one way of being subject to authority. Thank you for taking time to join me for this week's devotional. Uh, catch me next week as we do uh, Romans chapter 14. Bye-bye.